must have government. And the history of the human race has demonstrated, needing it or not, we are prone to have some. What you must do is guard that it does not impinge upon these rights which predate it. The villain is not your next door neighbor, it's the authority in your town. Check. Cool. Well, so nice How about you, job. cowboy? Well, so it's just a rash. Well, so it's best that nice story. Well, so it's just a rash. Fucking phone, son of a bitch. I remember you. Did we meet at that place near Windstar. Oh, the one with all the naked paintings on the walls and shit. Roosevelt's. Roosevelt's. That's it. Say, I'm a little surprised to see you back at it after that bloodbath. Yeah, well, you look different though. Uh, you had less hair back then, and it was like real short, you know, like a cop. Are we here to play cards or just talk like a bunch of fucking schoolgirls? You know, I can always go home, watch the Rangers lose. You playing with the native money? That's right. That was one Comanche I would not want to be chasing down. Stay off your phone. I'm on my way. Plus the points. That will be an extra six. Thirty-six thousand dollars. What did you think it was gonna be? I don't know. God damn it, something less than that. Fucking thirty, twenty. It's not. How much time do I got? God dang it, man! Are you seriously asking me that right now? Suck it up, dude, and be a man. Pay your debt. It's that simple. I can get you 10 by Friday. Jessup, 10 looks bad. Okay? 10 is, 10 is way too low. Are you back at the tables? Please tell me you're not back at the tables. I think I need that heat right now. All right? I'm not back at the fucking tables. Right, listen, I called you because I got something. I got something big. Look, I wrote some things down. You can help me get my hands on that shit. Jesus Christ, man. Who are you going to war with now? It's just a precaution. But you gotta give me a week to get my ducks in a row. Then I'll get the money. 
I'll get you all of it. Jessup, you know better than anybody that's not how the Indian works. Okay? Once your name goes down in that book, it stays in it forever. Can you do this or not? Three hours. I'll meet you behind the apartment. All right. See you then. Stay off your phone. Reggie. Mitchell. What are you what are you doing here? I came to see an old friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with all that. I, I haven't placed a bed in over six months. I'm, I work behind the desk now. And my family. Would you like me to come back when you leave for your family? What do you want from me? Take it. Read it. I can't do that. You will do it, or I will come back and burn this motherfucker down! Do you understand me? This one's a little bit more compact, but you know what? I don't need to be getting in your business. I just, I need to make sure this isn't gonna come back at me. It won't. Yeah, but how do I know that for sure? Ricky, it's not my first rodeo. You know, hold on. This is for your trouble, okay? Oh, 
Hold on one second. I have one question for you. Look at me. Are you okay with getting up every single morning, jumping in this little family minivan, driving your happy ass to work and sitting behind a desk? Because to me, that's not you. Pays the bills, so. Mm, pays the bills. Where's that other voice that I'm used to? Man, pay the fucking bills! What do you think? <laughs> That's it. That's the one. That one looks good on you, Ricky. You need to keep that one. That's the one, man. I'd go to war with you with that face on. It's not a charity, man. This stuff cost me just over two bags. Two thousand dollars? Yep. Everything in here, nothing is traceable. What? You don't have that kind of cash? Lying around, no. Then we tack it on top of the points. That or you can let me in on your big play. Your choice. Big enough to bomb a way out of this shit. Both of us. It's done right. Got a guy who can get us in. Snatch and grab, simple. Why doesn't this guy cash it in himself? That kind of guy? Yes, man. Well, what kind of guy are we talking about? Guys like us? I'm listening. Sid, I'm listening. Let's take a ride. You're driving. Don't smoke in my car.
I just said the king was saying it is coming, damn it. about talking on the phone. No password. Who does that? What? She's a mute. She's a what? Oh, God, man. She doesn't talk, Jessup. You're messing with me. Man, if you box me in on this, so help me God, hey, man. The money is here. Okay. The money is here. We just have to get her to tell us, that's all. All right? Do what you do best. Scare the shit out of her. She better tell us. reason you won't answer my partner's questions. Man, this is pointless. I 
Now, if I gave you something to write with, could you write it down for me? What's your shirt? The police are coming. I suggest you leave. <laughs> Let's try this again. I want you to write down the exact location of your grandfather's money. Right. What's she say? Oh, we intend to. We just don't know where it is. But I have on good authority that you do. Is there a safe? Anything. All you have to do is point us in the right direction and we disappear like that. Oh, I got that one. Did you get that one? Yeah, real funny. Tire back up. Mother. Give me a hand. Put it there. <laughs> You have 45 minutes to jog your memory. Or else your night gets a hell of a lot worse. Otherwise, I'm gonna come in here and shoot you in the face. I'm done with this girl! God, man. She's alive. What happens now? We make her tell us where it is. And when she does, that's when we gotta be careful, okay? She can never get out of this house. As a matter of fact, she can never think she's getting out of this house. You wanna kill her? No, not just yet. We'll give her the 45 to clear her head. And if she ain't playing ball still, we move her ass to the barn. You know he's out there right now. Way more motivation in the barn. I don't think it's a good idea to bring her in here, man. Well, what do you suggest? We leave? How's that play out when the Indian gets here? No one has to die, Mitchell. Nobody is gonna die. Please have the balls to follow through with this, man. Think about it. If you were her right now, how long could you play the stupid game she's playing? Fucking pathetic, man. We press her ass until she cracks. Let me have it. It's leverage. Let me have it. 45 minutes. Good. Go get it. I'll wait down here. Hold it in. No more games. You're gonna tell 
me where it is. Do you understand me? God damn you. Do you understand what's gonna happen to you? Do you have any idea what he's gonna do to you down there? Please. 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 Hello. Seems a little unnecessary, you not being about talk and all. I was curious, though. Can a mute girl scream? Hmm? What do you think? You think she can scream? I can't stand these uncomfortable silences. Your grandfather was a financial backer of a group of marijuana smugglers who operated in the United States in the 1970s. He owned a small fleet of shrimping boats out of Port Arthur. Now, each week, he'd commission round trips from South Texas to Columbia. Rumor has it they brought in over 106 tons of marijuana in just two years. They called themselves the Cowboy Mafia. But when one of the boats was seized, your grandfather was convicted on 10 counts of racketeering and interstate commerce violations. But he was a Texas Ranger, did you know that? So he only did five years and he got out clean. He died three days ago. The feds claimed what they could from the ranch. Now, Lily. <laughs> I know you don't own six ranches, a welding supply company, oil and gas holdings, without having a healthy stash of ransom money hidden somewhere safe. This is where you come in. You either tell me where he hid the money, or I am gonna drill a fucking hole through your bone into the other side of this goddamn chair. You got me? Can you hear me now? Huh? We spoke to your brother. He says you know the exact location. Are you ready to talk? Here you go. Write that shit down. You've got five seconds. Start right. Five, 
four, three, two. Had a girl. It wasn't so bad. Which part? That this job was total bullshit or you had bad intel? Hey, my information was good! Your her brother is dead! You're talking to the wrong guy! Look, man. I like you. I always have. And I agreed to come in on this. But 50% of nothing, man, is nothing! How is this gonna look when the Indian gets here and sees me knee-deep in this bullshit? not gonna be good. You clean this mess up yourself, all right? The guns and supplies are on the house. You're right. It wasn't your idea, it was mine. My dad. Did it. My idea to take her hostage. But it was also my idea to take a boy I trusted. A brother. Set us up for life. Guess out all this bullshit. The money. The fucking bugs, the fucking Indian. I can own that. But what I cannot walk away from is knowing there's a fortune out here on this land. Eighty million dollars. All right. What was his name? The so-called brother. Goes by Brady. He's a squirrely looking fucker. Works at the security firm that got us in the front door. There's no Brady in here, man. I mean, why would he lie? I don't know. Look, she doesn't tell us where it is by the time I get back. I'm going to bury a slug in her ear, okay? Where the fuck you going? Hand over. I'll be back. When I was a kid, my family used to make these trips down the shore. And there was this bridge along the way and you always knew you got close because the air would change. Start smelling the salt. Anyway, my father, he'd always drive and he'd make us listen to this 80s radio station of his and we all hated it as kids growing up. Well, now I like it. There's this song. Don't know what you got till it's gone by Cinderella. You heard of it? I didn't think so. When I sit here and I look at you, and I just think about the words of that song. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Don't know what it is I did so wrong. Kinda sounds like you and I, doesn't it? You losing your voice and, well, me just being the way I am.
Tonight is not going to go very well for you if you don't tell me where that money is. Do you understand me? Now write it down. Not here. Just walk away money buried somewhere out here, and your grandfather was not the type of person to put it in the bank. Now, even if you don't know where it is, like you say you don't, then you must have left a will, correct? Correct? Right. Tell me where it is. Right! where you say it is, and we'll be free as a bird by tomorrow. All right? You changed your hair. I wonder why. I was looking over this will. There's not much of a family left, is there? Who is Jordana? His coat dealing whore mistress. It's lovely. Does she know anything? What about your mother? You ever talk about your grandfather's money with her? Did she ever mention anything? Do you ever talk to your mother about it? <laughs> Good point. So that's it then. One of Texas's wealthiest drug smugglers dies. State takes most of his assets, the ones they know about, and the granddaughter and the mistress get the rest. Any chance the old man buried the money on the property? Think. Property lines, maps of the ranch. You know he's keeping this shit somewhere safe. What about his office? Are they there? Lithium pills. You're bipolar. My sister used to take the same ones.
You find him? Mm. In the trunk. Wait. Did she talk yet? There's a will, but there's nothing in it about money. You gonna search on foot. It's over 500 acres, man. Well, you got a better fucking idea? Said you say your buddy here isn't related to the strong, silent type in the barn. Oh, yeah. The Indian called. He's turned the hourglass over on this thing, man. He's gonna be here in less than 24 hours. I'm sorry. You told him? Yeah. I intend on living past the night. Put it down. No way, man. You first. Think about it. If I wanted you dead, you never would have gotten a shot off. Put it down. You have trouble finding that thing? Good Subaru. So where it was gonna be at? On their spare. Looks like he roughed you up a little. Yeah. Rough me up a little bit more than what you said he would. Oh, well, you were supposed to go willingly. Didn't you get my text? What'd I say about being on the phone, man? Yeah. Yeah, he tries like a maniac, too. Yeah, I know. What are we gonna do with the body? We'll strip him down, put him in the trunk. I'll bury the rest. Everybody's right. We'll get rid of it after we're done. Like nothing ever happened. All right. Did you find the money? No. You didn't tell me the girl was a mute. Well, she can't hear. She can't talk, asshole. Huh. How the hell was I supposed to know that? I'm a security guy. Just shut the fuck up and help him get him in the trunk. All right, then we'll pull the car around We're front. Do that. Come on, man, I need your fucking help. Look how big he is, God damn it. No! One, two, okay. <laughs> Just me, Harry. You'd think a big guy like that would have a bigger nutsack, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Huh? Just saying. Are you done? Yeah. That too. Anything else? No. The girl's phone. Oh, yeah? Check the nudes. In the fucking hole. Hey, man, she's hot. Need to lighten up. You ever fucked a midget before? Shut up. It's fucking crazy. <sighs> what? We need to talk about how we're gonna fix this. I did my job, pal. I got you on here, right? Yeah, thanks a lot, Brady. I really appreciate it. But nothing's worked out the way you planned it. Don't you get that? Hey, come on. I'm gonna wipe my ass. Go oh stare at me. Gosh. I thought you said you could write. I had to tell you that way. She doesn't know where the money is. Oh, that's bullshit, man. She's lying. It's not that easy to make eighty million dollars disappear like that. I know that. It's a lot of fucking money. He damn straight is. And we're gonna split it 50-50. Like you said. Right? I mean, that's what you said. You said I get you in the house, we take out the redneck, and we split the dough. I know Am what I, I right? said. I know what I said. Okay, I'm not arguing with you about that, but half and no money is nothing, Brady. Well, where the hell is she, huh? God, you stink so bad. 
I feel a lot better though. <laughs> I'll tell you that. She's blindfolded, and she's scared shitless. Uh, what are we gonna do to her? I've walked every square inch of this property. And I don't have a clue where to start. All I know is we got 24 hours, so we gotta get her to talk. Mm. What's, what's happening in 24 hours? You don't wanna know. Yeah, I do. I wanna know what's, what's happening here in 24 hours. That guy you buried, the man that he works for isn't gonna care about money we don't have. He'll kill us both. Both? <laughs> Wait a minute, pal, this is your gig. I'm just helping you out, in and out, you know? 50-50, right? Fucking bleeding, that's what. Okay, so? She wasn't bleeding when I left. Okay. I found the property deeds and the maps in your grandfather's office. And I took one long walk around this fucking place and I'm no closer to finding what I came here for. Now there's a new player on board. And he's gonna be here real soon. He's not gonna care about what happened here. He's not gonna care about the money or any of that other shit. He's here to take my blood and he's not gonna leave any witnesses. Do you understand me? So now it's time to stop pretending. And do the only thing that's gonna save your life. The only thing that's gonna save our lives. Yeah. Damn straight. And that's to tell me where that fucking money is. Do you understand me? Entire right hand, get her the pen. Wait! Oh. 
This isn't a horse stable. But I'm believing you. So what I don't want you to do with your head. I want you to show me where they stalled Copper Bill. Show me where they kept that damn horse. Yeah. You're sure. with me, girl? Get rid of that body in the barn. Come on.
me and my sister were kids. We used to always <laughs> dream about growing up in a place like this. We were broke as shit. We couldn't have been more apart, even though we were twins. By the time I was getting out of rehab, the first time, she was already a year out of law school. That's when I got the call she'd hung herself. Should have been me, I guess. For her to do something. To do something like that. And to think all these things brought me right here. To your doorstep. Looking for your grandfather's money. Shit. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I'm just tired. But I don't want to see you get hurt. If I can get us out of this, can you promise not to jam me up on the other end? Good. He's here. Don't you move, don't you move. Do you want to live through this? Do you want to live through this? So he's gonna kill us both. So you do exactly as I said. Good afternoon, ma'am. I was just driving past, looking for the driver of that car. A friend of mine who drives that same make and model has gone missing. I was wondering if you can help me find him. Ma'am? You don't speak? In the car. Sorry to bother you. Thank you. If you change your mind about seeing our friend, I won't be far. Get back the bag, right now. Move! Hurry, move. Fuck, are you? We don't have much time. You run to that car and you don't stop till you get to that charger. Do you understand me? You understand? All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Move, move, move. Move, move, go, go. Move. What are you doing? You stay here, he's gonna kill you. I'm leaving in three, two, Gun out. Slowly. Girl out. Walk slowly to the front of the car. Stop. On your knees. Cross them. Hands above your head. And keep them there. Now you. You have some explaining to do. I can get your money. Oh! Oh! 
I know where the money is, man. Tomo, Ika. Ika went. What? We can't fucking understand you. I can help you with that. Looks like I missed out on a little bit of fun. What he said was, he wouldn't mind killing you. Well... Nobody would want to see somebody so pretty get split in half. Mm -hmm. Especially me. But that's just a loose translation, of course. Who the fuck is Mr. Rogers here? There are no more innocent people left on this earth. Just different levels of responsibilities. Take our Indian friend here. He works for me now. What? Mitchell didn't didn't tell you about that? That old coot. He thought, just because I drive a minivan, that I forgot where I left my ball sack. <laughs> I don't have your money, man. I don't have your money. Thirty grand. I lost it. You fucking gambled with our money. Half of it. Thought I could win it back, and I fucked up. Mitchell said you shot the cash. It's all gone, Chief. So you just killed him? I had to have him help me pull the job off. There's money out here. Hidden on this ranch. Cowboy Mafia legend. It's true. And Mitchell came in on it with me. And this one. She can't talk, so... We don't know where the goddamn money is, and here we are.
Well, I am a businessman. So how much are we talking about here? Eighty million. Cash. You don't really know where it is, do you? She's fucking lying, boss. It's with the cutting horse. Goes by Copper Bill. Money supposedly buried with him. You find that horse, you find that money. I remember over here in a story this foreigner was telling in Vegas. This foreigner was talking about taking cutting horses and packing their asses full of drugs and then shipping them up from South America. And when they get here, they cut out their anus to make it easier to pull the drugs out. He said it was messy. A lot of animals bled out. Fuck me running. That gives me a great idea. A knife. Oh, shit. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> you tell me where the money is right now, or I'm gonna slice this fucker's asshole open right in front of you. Don't tell him anything, goddammit. If you kill him, there's no need for you anymore. Don't trust him, he'll kill you anyway. You shut the fuck up! You got a serious decision to make. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? The money. For his blood. The past! Give her the fucking past! She'll write it down. God damn it. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck him. have an hour. Are you sure about this? I said dick. Fuck. All fucking rock. Fucking stones in there. You, know? you don't fucking get it. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck you! I'm not doing it, Chief. You're gonna have to shoot me. Dig. You motherfucker. You Indians never understood a cowboy. What the hell's that? Who else is here? No one. It's just us three. Eastside! <laughs>
I honestly wasn't expecting the cell phone to go off. I assume you buried it with your friend's body? You can talk. I'm sorry. Was that a question? Yeah, okay, not being able to talk and not talking are two very different things. You see, you and your friend just didn't push hard enough at all. Pick up the shovel and keep digging. Digging? I wasn't lying about the money. He didn't bury it all there. But there's enough underneath your feet to make anyone comfortable for the rest of their God-given natural lives. So that's your plan. Have me help you find the money. Dig it up, and what? You shoot me. Yeah. It's kind of convenient you're digging a hole, isn't it? I don't understand. People died here. When I was seven. I fell off my grandfather's favorite horse. Copper Bill. I only lost partial hearing. But I was able to convince my family that the accident affected me enough to turn me mute. I spent all my summers here learning sign language and learning how how not to speak. Most importantly, I learned to be alone. More alone than someone like you could ever imagine. Why? My grandfather kept secrets. You see, he never trusted anyone who liked to talk. Because he always thought they were the weakest. So I stayed quiet. He'd tell me things he'd never tell another soul. Because he assumed I couldn't speak, so who would I tell? And that's how I learned about the money. Money the feds couldn't even find. Money that was stashed away with the horse that changed my life. Life. Never speaking to another person for 18 years. When I was young, I remember how people would act towards me. Some assume you're stupid. You're just doing it for attention. But this was a choice. It cost you your life. It cost me everything. me a shot at a normal fucking life until today. Is it worth it? What do you think? I mean, look around you. Look at what it made you give. Okay, you know what? You're a free man right now. I've done you a favor you couldn't possibly repay. How about showing a little gratitude? Gratitude? I had to kill two men to get here. Who's free of that? You know what? You put that on yourself by coming here. It's not my problem. So keep digging. No. Do it. Or I'll shoot you. No. You want the money? Dig the hole yourself.
How much did you get? Enough. That's my girl. Your chariot awaits. When I saw its best side story, when I saw it's just a ride, when I saw its best side story, when I saw it's just a ride. Just to ride What I saw is best side story What I saw is just to ride What I saw is best side story What I saw is just to ride Just to ride Just to ride Just to ride